Hey everyone, Jason Coswell here, and I'm coming at from DIY product testing and reviews. I'm coming at you with the KSD thermal switch, KSD Electronics. It's 250 volt, uh, five five amp, 50 degree shutoff switch. Um, I like them because they're nice and flat. You can put them up against, up against right up against your battery, and it detects everything perfectly. Um, it's got short little three and a half inch leads not too bad I don't mind it but yeah it's nice and flat so it uh, it's good good conductivity against the battery pack that you're building so uh, this is the very first battery pack I ever built which was a little barbaric it's a little barbaric but it works does the trick I only use it now for I got a little 50 amp solar panel and when it's nice out like this uh, you just hook it up and get keep it charged up for when the power goes out of the house and then I uh, just use it to keep my phone or laptop charged but uh, yeah it's a great uh, great little pack still works uh, it's just got the 18650 uh, 7900 milliamp 3.7 volt batteries in it um, and then my BMS so what you do is you essentially just take your uh, thermal switch and you mount them with uh, thermal to paste a glue and right against your batteries like so and you take a bunch of these and you just mount them around all over your pack so what it does is it just registers different temperatures throughout your, your power wall or your power pack so I'm looking at building a uh, um, new power wall out of the C-Max batteries um, they're fairly cheap and they have uh, quite a punch to them. Can't go wrong with the C-Max battery. It's a great value. I pick them up for five bucks a piece. They're about eight inches long, two inches thick, and about five and a half to six inches high. Uh, and then it's got two lugs that are about uh, four inches apart. Amazing battery. Um, Ford uses them in their vehicle. Uh, yeah, you can pick them up from as for as cheap as five bucks a piece. Um, you can pick them up even cheaper in some places. Like I found uh, online, a set you can buy the whole bank right out of the car. So all you have to do is just disassemble it. Uh, it's ninety-seven dollars for the bank for the bank of twenty-one cells, and uh, so you can't go wrong. But uh, yeah, anyway, this is Jason Causeway from DIY Product Testing, and this was just a little review on the thermal switch there. See if we can get, to get a good catch of that there. It's upside down, but hey, you can figure it out. You're smart. Anyway, you guys take care. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, like what you have, or like if you see, if, see something on there, and share with your friends. And uh, yeah, you guys have yourselves a good afternoon. Bye for now.